So I replaced this fan with a 50 millimeter um, 10 CFM fan. Blows pretty good. Actually, that's really good air. I over -volted it by one volt. I think it'll be okay. Um, so here is the buck converter, which drops the 24 volts down to the 12 and a half, 13 volts that I have it running at and runs into the fan. I use the existing wire to go to the buck converter and then I use my JSD connectors to plug in the fan. So now I have an ultra quiet fan there for that. I am also going to replace that fan back there with an ultra quiet and I might replace the fan in here with an ultra quiet in the meanwhile. We'll see what kind of fan they use in there. This one is a 4020 just like the one I'm taking out except this one is of course absolutely silent. I'm going to reuse the harness it comes with and rig that harness to fit my setup so that if I ever have to replace this fan it's plug and play. And you can see in here it comes with this little rubber boot that does two things. One, it makes sure all the air goes out because there's actually a physical gap between the fan and the frame which is bad. So Creality when you redo this um, the fan should actually touch the frame and you should have a piece of cushioning in between the fan and the frame so that the vibration noise from the fan doesn't resonate on the housing and that also keeps the air from going around the hole instead of through the hole so this rubber boot will do that here it came with the fan and I will get my buck converter plugged in so we can run this 12 volt fan on 24 volts so I got the not quite as quiet but quiet fan installed here that one works. This one here is bad. I gotta send this one back. Um, now, by just happenstance, I replaced. I zoomed in. Yes, I replaced this fan. It used to be this fan. So I replaced it, and I happen to notice something. That's the same fan, which means I can get this thing going tonight. Yes, because that fan's bad. I ordered two more, but they won't be here till Thursday. Well, that's the exact same fan. Hell yeah. There we go. I kept the wiring neat. There is the buck converter. That is adjusted. I can even still adjust it if I need to. It's stuck down with uh, extreme sticky tape so that not only does it stay put, but it's insulated from the frame. So here's your input, your output little zip tie holding this wire in place. This wire is unpluggable, so I can replace this fan if I need to. It's a little module, so it's easy plug and play removal. Same thing here. I just put a JST connector on the fan, and so I can unplug that and plug in a new fan if I need to. Same thing, sticky tape holding it down. Uh, the only other fan is the one in here. Uh, we'll see how noisy that it is once the, I get it going hot again. And we'll see if I need to replace the fan inside there. I believe that's actually, I think that fan's on the side. Oh, no, it's right here. Looks like that's also a 4020. So I will need another one of these if I have to replace that fan. We will see how noisy it is before I do that, though. So time to button her back up and go from there. I do want to put some slightly longer screws on here and put some rubber washers because even though I have this rubber gasket around here the fan still comes into direct contact with the raised posts and you can hear that resonate on the frame a little bit so if I put four little rubber washers on there that should um, provide a little dampening for that direct connection or nylon screws I might do that too I took the fan from the inside, put it on the outside, so that should work now, since it was working on the inside, which will bring my parts cooling back, but, yep, it wasn't the zip tie, it is the metal shell here. Let me zoom back out, here we go. Yep, this metal edge here, as this head moves back and forth, this is doing this, and it's rubbing against the metal, and it's cutting into the um, heater cartridge wires that will eventually short that will keep abrading as the printer moves back and forth until it cuts all the way through and it shorts these two wires on this metal chassis so you're going to need to put some sort of a well first of all this opening here this opening here make it bigger so have this cut out come forward a little more and cut this cut out a little larger and then put a protective tube or sheath around this wire 
there. These wires have a soft coating, but this one is getting abraded. As the scout moves, as the printhead moves back and forth, see? And it's cutting into those wires. So that's something that needs to be addressed. My temporary solution is I took some VHB um, sticky back foam and I put it between the metal and the heater cartridge wires and then I wrapped it with a zip tie to hold it in place not super tight just snug just to keep it from moving and that will act as, as an ablative so that foam tape will now take the damage instead of the um, heater cartridge wire if you listen printer is almost silent now this fan is still noisy I'm going to replace this fan with a ultra silent fan as well so this is the one you're hearing now okay um, this fan is also going to be a little bit noisy but I think this one's quieter than the other one but now you can hear the bass here very quiet although the power supply fan has not kicked on yet one thing I'd like to do is to stop it from doing this it does this center home um, every time I run it I'm assuming there's a different G command I can run to stop it from doing that. What I want to do is quickly go down to 000 and then come out here and do the slow. It's doing the slow because it's using the ABL, so it's coming in slow until it detects the bed. The problem is it does that even when it's up here. So it takes forever for that head to come all the way down and do that. So I'd rather it do a fast move, come down, and then go to the middle and do the slow move. Uh, this This particular one has a... Um, G29 command in it, so it's doing the 16 point thing again. But um, beyond that, it'd be nice to be able to stop that from doing that. And now you hear the big fan turning on. So the noisiest fan is in the power supply, which means I'm going to replace that fan. <laughs> so the hot end assembly actually goes to this unit here, and this unit here actually has plugs for everything. So here's all your plugs for your motors and fans and heater cartridge, etc. It all goes to this little breakout board and then your ribbon cable that goes to the main brain board underneath plugs into here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a buck converter in here. But I'm going to put a set of these on both ends of it so that I can either plug in directly to this wire here going to the hot end, which will allow me to switch between 24 volt fan or 12 volt fan. So I'm gonna get this fan installed now. And if that proves to be insufficient cooling, then all I have to do is unplug the buck converter, plug in the original fan, and we're good to go again. Because that fan's pretty noisy, so I'm gonna try to replace it. So the way this will work is that this is the wire going to the fan, and I put a female JST on it. And this is the wire coming from the breakout board here. And I put a male JST on it. Connect these two together, and you have your stock 24 volt output to the fan. Connect it through this, and you have your 12 volt output to the fan. So I can switch back and forth. So if they ever make any ultra quiet 24 volt fans, I can switch back to 24 volts. Or if the um, ultra quiet fan that I put in here is not enough to keep the hot end cool, then I can switch back to the stock fan, which I've already wired up for plug and play on the hot end side. So the hot end side has a male JST plug, and I can just plug it in. So here we go. That is the buck converter board, which takes the 24 volts and makes it 12 volts. And because it's all plugs, it's all nicely hidden behind here and inside here, so it looks stock. And if I need to, I can unplug the buck converter plug the two wires directly into each other and get 24 volt out to here. So right now I'm running 12 volts to run this ultra quiet fan. You can't even hear it run. I have a 404020 fan to replace the power supply fan. This is the power coming out of the actual power supply into the buck converter into the wire going into the fan. So now I just adjust the voltage to 12 volts and now the power supply fan will be 12 volts and silent now i had to turn it way down because i don't have a bench power supply to adjust this so i turned it way down to make sure it wasn't too high a voltage 
and then um, once this fan turns on, I can adjust the voltage. Well, this is interesting. I didn't need to do all this. I'm going to leave this buck converter in here. It's tuned for 12 volts so that if I want to run like LED lights, I'll already have the converter in here. I just got to run power from here to there and then I'll have 12 volt built into the machine. But turns out I didn't need it. <laughs> turns out the fan in the Meanwell power supply is a 12 volt fan. Okay, so I just replaced it with a 12 volt fan. <laughs> and for those wanting to hook up LED lights or any other accessories, etc., our Raspberry Pi, for example, um, I don't know if these buck converters will have enough capacity for a Raspberry Pi, but um, if you get a 24 volt adapter, you'll be fine. So what you do is I just unscrewed one of the positive and stuck the positive wire from this into it. And then I unscrewed one of the negative and put the black wire into this. So now this here is powered by 24 volts. I used a plug so that I can unplug and plug in if I want to. I just got these. A bag full of JST connectors. More than enough for the kind of power we're drawing for LEDs and stuff like that. So this goes into here, 24 volts. You adjust this pot once you have this powered up, the LED lights up. You put a meter on these posts and you adjust this until you get the desired output voltage. And now I have a ready-made 12 volt lead here so if I decide I want to power something for example there's a hole I can go out right there I can go out the hole down here um, I have ready-made power for 12 volts now since this needed 12 volts anyway I had this sitting in here so I decided to leave it so now if I want to run anything off 12 volts I have 12 volt power off my 24 volt power supply this is my setup for the cooling board fan I used a 50 50 by 10 so it's a 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter by 10 millimeter fan it's a, a noise blocker ultra quiet here's its 12 volt buck converter so it takes the standard fan um, output right here converts it from 24 to 12 volts into the 12 volt fan same thing down here the 12 volts coming from or 24 volts coming from the power supply into this buck converter which I've adjusted for 12 volts and it actually runs to this fan turns out the 40 by 40 um, hot end fan will run at 12 volts and it's as quiet as an ultra quiet when running at 12 volts so for now I stuck that fan there since I'm waiting for another one of these to be delivered I do want to put one of these back here so I have higher throughput but we'll see what the inside temperatures look like but I think that might just be fine another small modification that I've made on both this fan grill and the fan grill on the front of the machine is I got rid of this second bullseye veins in here I just took a pair of snips and snipped them out this provides a lot less restriction for the fans airflow and noise but still keeps stuff from you know keeps you from sticking your finger in there too easily but um, that gives you better airflow so now this printer should be damn near silent stay tuned would you listen to that all the fans are going except for the parts cooling fan that's going to be a little noisy but this is how quiet your machine can be you did such a good job with the steppers I decided I had to make the fans just as quiet I could sleep in the same room as this machine here's a finger snap for comparison Oh yeah! I do want you to please if possible can you add fan speed adjustment so for example let me tap on that and punch in the percentage of fan speed I want and then maybe have another button for flow rate so instead of having fan on off and fan icon have two icons here fan oh here's the other fan kicking on I'm gonna turn down the voltage on that quiet that up a little bit it's still very quiet and then have another icon here called flow and when you tap them just pop up one of these and let me enter whatever I want I guess I have to enter something now it's hard to see through the LCD screen 
Um, so have a flow icon and a fan icon, and when you tap them, bring up that little box so I can punch in my flow rate that I want, and I can punch in my fan speed that I want. That'd be a nice little touch. That wasn't the power supply fan. That was the cooling fan turning on. So as you can see, that cooling fan is louder than this entire printer after I've replaced all the fans. So I'm going to have to figure out how to make that a little quieter. If I run it at 80%, I bet you I'll get good enough cooling and it'll be a little quieter. So I'll have to do that. But yeah, this thing's got potential, guys. This is nice.